What's up, TJ? And it's OME, aka Recall Bobcat. And today I'm bringing you a dual commentary with Eda 400. Yo, yeah, well, what's up, guys? And today I'm bringing you a domination and fire range in which I go 53 and 7 with the AK 47, AK 74 dual mags. And today, <laughs> <laughs> today our topic is about something I said I was going to start doing on FPS is a series when I talk about tips for YouTube and what to do and not to do. I know I haven't made a commentary on FPS in a while, but I've had lots of problems and really couldn't bring you guys content. So I'll let Eva start off with the topic. All right. The topic today we're talking about is things to pay for and things not to pay for uh, on YouTube. Things that I think people shouldn't pay for is boxing. I mean, not boxing. Uh, yeah, boxing, right? Yeah. That's what we're talking about? Yeah, boxing. I think people shouldn't pay for boxer box and stuff like that because it's honestly a waste of time. Half of the people who who you get subscribers from are really not there to subscribe to your channel. They just happen to accidentally click on your channel sometimes or accidentally hit the subscribe to all button and subscribe to all the channels. So it's really like sub for sub kind of if you think about it it's kind of still like sub for sub because people are just randomly sub into your channel and probably never view your videos and i agree because i used to be well i used to be in a couple big channels like 24k and up or under their sub box and i have email notifications so it tells me exactly who subscribes and most of the subscribers i was getting they were just subscribing to literally everybody that was in the sub box so buying, it's okay to box for box if like you, you, you and your friend, you know, you just want to help each other out. But paying for box, it's, it's not, it's not going to satisfy you. At the end, you're still going to be sad. You're still going to have the same amount of views. Your subs may go up, but for what reason? Yeah, you don't want your sub rate to be like 5,000 subs and you're getting 300 views per video or something like that. That's never what you really want. And the next thing we think that shouldn't be bought on YouTube is a shout out video. Um, the reason we say this is because, well, <laughs> uh, well, well look, I, I don't shout know. outs, man. Shout outs, there's really no point of paying for a shout out. Shout outs are kind of like a scam type thing. You can go and shout out as many people as you want. You're not guaranteed for somebody to click or come to your channel because they don't know you or anything like that. Like I can go say shout out to OME aka Recall Bobcat. Go check out his channel, link in the description. You're not guaranteed that everybody there will just go randomly run in the description and click on your channel for any reason. Well, I, now, well wait, 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 wait. I want to change my vote on that. I, th I think shout outs is okay to pay for actually. You, you think shout outs is okay to pay for? <laughs> I mean, not shout outs, but shout out video. I think that would actually help, but not shout out. All right, go ahead. Tell us. Because um, when you make a shout out video, the person has a choice to uh, check out your channel or not check out the ch channel. It's not like box for box that they just subscribe to everybody. So if they have a choice, that means if they choose to subscribe to you or choose to go on your channel, that means they're doing it out of their own free will. That must mean they plan watch um, plan on watching your videos and see like you have potential or something like that. You know what? That, that you're kind of right. Now that I think about it, yeah, I should have thought about that a little bit more before I came out with it. It is kind of it's better than um, sub for sub and stuff and stuff like that because people are kind of actually will be subbing to you because they actually come and view your channel. Another thing that I think people shouldn't pay for, shouldn't even use on YouTube is bots. You should never pay for any type of like bots, dislike bots, uh, view bots, sub bots, all of those bots because they will stop you in the long run on YouTube. No matter if you get 10,000 subscribers and have a high view rate, if that background is on your channel or you have a strike or anything on your channel for doing stuff like that, it will be head, head, I mean, held against you. And it's hard to you know get that off of your channel. Yeah. Now, there's two specific things that me and Edith are going to talk about that you should pay for. Well, one, the first thing is GFX, of course. 
one thing about GFX is it's always going to be around. People are always going to want new backgrounds and new intros. The, the thing bad about GFX is people get cocky. The design is to start ch charging hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I don't think you should pay for an intro, no matter how good it is. I don't care if it's TV quality. If you're a small channel and you're not making any YouTube money or not a decent amount, don't pay $400 for an intro just because you're going to have the best intro on YouTube. It's stupid to waste your money on that. And don't pay for a background. Don't pay any more than maybe 30. 30 is pushing it. Don't, but, but don't pay any more than 30 on the background. I've seen a good person make backgrounds and stuff. It's not as hard as people think. I mean, if you make if you want to make money from something in GFX Designs, I mean, do it. But charging over 30, well, I'm not going to talk about how much you charge, but the people who are paying for it, don't pay over that amount. Yeah, like, GFX is something good to pay for on YouTube because if you think about the work and the hard time, the effort that people put into making them backgrounds, not for their self, but for someone else, it's I think it's something perfect and good to pay for. I don't think that people should be getting charged hundreds of dollars for it because it's nothing but a background, but, you know, $20, something, $20 $30 here and there, if you're feeling like you need a new background, I feel like it's worth it because you got to think about what the people go through who have to make them backgrounds. It takes hours to think of ideas and how to make stuff look perfect and make it look beast. Yeah, and um, this gameplay has come to a close. I'm sorry we didn't get to the last topic, which was annotations, but we'll talk about that in episode two of this commentary. Have a nice day, TGN.